Good morning, welcome to Bitcoin Bounce. My name is Joseph and today I'm here with Dion and we're looking at the price of Bitcoin. And uh, at the end of this video, we are going to look at an awesome signal on the Oasis network. And uh, uh, I think uh, there's some money to be made. Good mor morning, Dion. What's happening with Bitcoin? Good morning, guys. Good morning, Joseph. Okay, let's start quickly with the market indicators. Uh, the US dollar very very strong yesterday so it broke our local high that we set earlier this week um, and went above it but then had a bit of a rejection of 110 dollars which comes from nearly 20 years ago so it's really very very strong at the moment um, we have high impact news today later today it's non-farm payrolls 2.30 South African time so that always makes for a very very volatile market so I think everyone everything is slowing down a bit just to wait for that announcement to see and they think it's going to be big today um, so that that will be very interesting to see what happens there uh, then <clears throat> Nasdaq because of the dollar rise yesterday also is still running down looks like it might be forming a bit of a base here the money flow into the altcoins also slowing down a bit um, but still on a on an uptrend. The good news though is the Bitcoin dominance has pulled back to under the 40%, which is fantastic for the altcoins. We don't know if we're going to stay here, but if Bitcoin would stay and just range sideways, it would be fantastic for the altcoins and you'll just see them individually just spiking like crazy. So this could potentially be very good for us. Um, and just looking at the altcoin season index, this index remembers if 75% of the altcoins perform outperform Bitcoin, then they call it an altcoin um, season. And at the moment, 90% of the top 50 altcoins are outperforming Bitcoin. So your bots um, should be doing very well, Joseph, at the moment. Um, then we can move on quickly just to ETH, just the overview on the weekly. Uh, not much has happened. We're still waiting. We're trading between this 1.5 and 2,000 kind of zone. We're waiting to break back into that 1.750, that golden pocket for ETH from where we expect a big bounce up. Bitcoin is this is on the on the weekly so remember we lost our weekly support um, trend line we lost last week but we're slowly but surely fighting to get that back we've got a bit of support here below us and if we can hold above this weekly support then we'll have that support back again and then our next target is just for the 200 MI that is very very important for us to hit and and cross Bitcoin will be going nowhere until we hit that zone and that also actually corresponds with this long bearish trend line we've had since November so we have to break actually both of those I think it might be at the same time that we have to break the 200 MA and that um, trend line and from there on things should be looking rosy for, for Bitcoin if we just zoom in a bit to the daily so we were trading in this um, descending wedge here which the pattern is normally would break to the upside so it looks as if we might be breaking out here um, so that will confirm that and we should be going up first target probably to this 20 MA yeah on the on the weekly um, I just wanted to look show you guys the just a few other indicators this chop and explode so at the moment it's looking a bit bearish for Bitcoin on the weekly so the chop and explode is under 50 um, and if it's this purple color then that means it's it's in a in a bearish trend the RSI is still below the 50 just kind of going sideways and the stochastic well it has a has a bit of a buy signal there so we could be um, that that might be good and the volume is just way down at the at the moment um, on the four hour what I would be so just zooming in with the news coming today this is potentially what I see happening is I just making a run for this uh, 2700 and then just before the news so what's been happening lately with the big news events is they they start like two or three hours before the event and they run it in a direction and then just during the event they pull it back um, all the way back so 
I foresee this happening as it's just a gut feel that they're going to run it up. We'll probably hit this um, 50 EMA. This is on the four hour now. Maybe bounce back and then breeze through up to 20,700 and then they're going to dump it. Well, this is as I say, that's what I'm thinking. So if I see this play out, I will just scalp this um, today. But other than that, there's no it's not a safe day to trade most people would just stay out of the market um on a day like today so that's it for for all these other indicators um and then we can move on to our signal joseph you said you wanted to ask me something yes i, I just want to ask you so bitcoin has been sitting on this twenty thousand level now for quite some time let me just look here on my chart how long has bitcoin be been here at this level was it already three and a half months hey? so um i understand the la the longer uh coin sits at a level the stronger that level becomes and then when it starts going up the more it can go up do you think uh bitcoin has hovered and long enough on that level uh or do you think it will sit there and go sideways uh, to build more momentum what do you think yeah, I agree with you. It, it just builds consolidation and, and out of this, there's going to be a very, very powerful move to the upside. Especially if you look from November, just the whole trend, how way down it's been just been going down, down, down. So we've building, we've been building up steam here to explode, I think, to the upside. But the when is the big problem because it, it depends on the macro economy. We've um, these past few months just seen how important the the dollar is. So that is the is the big thing that's holding all the markets back, including Bitcoin. So I think as soon as we can we can get a dollar a serious dollar pull back. But seriously, at the moment it's 110. You know, to like a, back to 100 or under 100. If we can get a, a solid dollar pull back, then I think everything's just going to fly. So I, I don't think this is Bitcoin dependent at all. Uh, this Ethereum merge might help. So if there's a lot of money coming into the market with the, with the Ethereum merge, it might help a bit. But I think it's just the, the macro economy and the war and everything that's just causing everything just to stand still for now. They're just extending the markets. Yeah, so it's difficult to say, Joseph. There's no, no real answer to that. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, I bought um, a, a quite a big portion of my um, portfolio, about 40% of my portfolio is in Bitcoin right now, and 40% of my portfolio is in Ethereum, and then 20% is in smaller coins. So I, I really hope for Bitcoin to make a big move to the upside. And so I, I got, I set my take profit at 44,000 US dollars. So Bitcoin's gonna go very far for me to, to take my take profit position. <laughs> yeah. Hey, okay, awesome. Uh, tell us about that signal on, on the Oasis coin. Okay, so the Oasis coin, this is on the daily chart. So the upside from the last high is 850% from where we are now. So it's a very good hodl coin. Um, let me just zoom into the one hour here. So it's found a, a very strong support, which has come from far back. I can't even scroll that far out. Um, so it's found a very strong support zone and it's basically free at the moment. It's like six cent. Um, so it's a very good price. Very Whenever it dips in here, people buy. Um, it's also broken out of this trend line that's, that has been following for quite some time now. So it's broken out, come back and retested that, started going back up. So at the moment, I think that we would we would just have to sit out today and maybe the weekend just to see but i'm expecting maybe a bit of a pullback to come and retest this line again so if we can get an entry down here that would be great so just keep an eye on it um but it's kind of in the middle of nowhere now so i wouldn't get into it here so if the news happens to be that um, it affects bitcoin and everything else positively and we start flying out then we would have to just wait until we break that level here which is six, 0 0.67 so if we break that level um, then we can start going up if we have a bit of a pullback then i would get in here at the bottom somewhere so if we get in round about there then then the it's up to you then how you want to try this so these yellow um 
you know, bars are all price imbalances and they all always have to be corrected. You see these big fat candles, the price always, always comes back to, um, to reclaim those candles. So there are very big price imbalances, yeah, above us now. At, so there's there's no liquidity actually for the big banks and so on to take the price down. So the best for everyone involved would be to just take it up, and they always target to recover these zones. So if you get in wherever you get in, if you want to play safe, then you can just under these previous highs, you can take your profit, get out, wait until it maybe takes a pullback, and then you can get in again, or wait until it breaks through, and then get in to the next up run. You know, then then you can trade this part. So or you can just buy and hold. Um, so if there's about six percent in there, another six percent there another six percent there and i would i think that we could safely run it up to this one here which is around about 20 odd percent so it's a good coin it's a good project it's really very very low and when bitcoin starts flying then it would just breeze through this hole and make a quick quick um 20 percent or as i say you can play it safe and just do it zone by zone also if you wanted to and that's it joseph Okay, uh, so tell me how many percentage uh, profit, uh, how many percentage points of profit do you think we can expect there? Uh, percentage points. So, so the the first trade would be at least six percent. I would go for six, and um, then it just worked uh, that this is all just like six percent. So six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-five odd. Yeah, is what you could be looking for on this trade. Depends on on your okay. strategy. Yeah. Oh. Okay, well that's awesome. Yeah, uh, non-farm payrolls is a very important trading day. Uh, if you are <coughs> DCI trading and you want to put in your levels of trades today, um, I think there could be expectation for you to be able to get in a better position on Bitcoin. So, um, but if you're going to trade with tight take profits and stop losses, uh, to trade non-farm payrolls is very difficult. So uh, then in that case, I would rather just say stay out of the market. Okay, guys. Uh, thank you, Dion. This is a great analysis. Okay, we're going to be back uh, later today. And I want us to look at some of the main crypto news that's coming out. Uh, so there's this uh, channel, Coin Bureau. And they got some excellent news here that I just thought we need to feature that. So about an hour or two, we're going to come back. And we're going to especially focus on the time schedule for the Ethereum merge. See you then. Thank you, Dion. Thanks, guys. See you tomorrow. Cheers.